Studios near Rambert. This is Booze and All with your hosts, Chow Gap Zingles and Hugh Bladen. Good evening and welcome to the first edition of Booze and All. It's the essential knowledge that you need to know about rugby in South Africa. I'm Hugh Bladen. And I'm Chow Gap Singles. Coming up in tonight's show, we reveal a special guest. We chat to our first generally valued member. And we review the week that was three weeks of Super 14 rugby. And we get absolutely drunk in the process. Let's go over to Hugh, Booze and All. Well, the inaugural booze at all would be something pretty bang average if we didn't have a special guest. And, well, tonight we've got a pretty special guest. He's brilliant. He's magnificent. He's unbelievable. He's, uh, he's fast. He's fast. Runs the 111 flat. He's Tondara Shivangi. Blue boots. Herschel Gibbs. He's a wing. Brian Habana. He's a Chester no, Williams. No, he's got a house. Oh, Nick Costa, yes. Yes, Nick Costa, the first guest on Over to You, I remember now. And uh, let's go and have a look and see what he had to say. I'm actually pretty interested myself. Mm. Uncle You! Nick, my boy, good evening. How are you? Yeah, very unbelievably well. This is your house. It is. Uh, it looks magnificent. Wow, you've done really well, my boy. You're so young and vibrant. Got a better house than I do, and I've been commentating for 30 years. <laughs> Can I show you around now that you're here? Yes, I'd love you to show me around. Is there whiskey involved? <laughs> Absolutely. You know. Yes, go for it, my boy. This is my crib. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, TV room and the lounge. Uh, this is where the magic happens. Uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, this is where I do not spend a lot of time. My girlfriend, who you'll meet later, uh, enjoys this part of the house. This is the magic stuff that uh, us rugby players need to, to perform. Friend Simpiwe, who uh, dances for me. Uh, over here is my guest room and also my desk where my girlfriend is doing some homework. And this is my room. This is where the magic happens, the real magic. People think us rugby players are tough guys, but I'm actually quite self-conscious about my weight. 100.3. Ow. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's nice and cozy here on the couch at the Costa home this evening. The fire's not even on, but we certainly nice and warm. And, well, let's just say that an old man, a dying wish... Lana, absolutely scintillating to have you on the couch with me this evening. Tell me, what do you do for fun? <laughs> I light the fire. <laughs> well, you light my fire, let me tell you now. <laughs> Lana, now. You, Uncle you. you. Uncle you. Can yeah. You, uh, could we carry on? Nick, you always do this. You know, it's always about you. I'm fast. I can catch a rugby ball. Can't you see that I'm having a talk with your mother here? Is this about her or me? Well, do you want me to be honest or say it's about you? Excuse me. I've, uh, I, are we finished now? I've got to go and light my, that fire I was talking about. <laughs> well, you've already lit on mine. You're, you're excused. <laughs> see you in the kitchen in 10. <laughs> Thank you. I'll make sure you enjoy your meal. <laughs> 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 Let me help you there. <laughs> there we go. And now, 90 seconds with a generally valued member. So, Kedog, at what stage of your life did you decide that it was time to become a generally valued member? Well, I first saw the sights a couple of week, uh, few weeks ago, um, and it was absolutely brilliant. I thought I had to write in and be a part of this team. Um, I'm just over the moon that uh, Charles Gibson and Blads have actually come to my home, to my bed, um, to chat to me. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words with this. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm so happy. You know? <laughs> I've got to be in the mix. Blads and Charles Gaps are unbelievable. They are the world to me. They. <laughs> And then if you can remember 
Well, I think the best part about it is I, whenever I go to these uh, shows, I help out with everything to moving cameras to tripods to even if my boy Blaze has got a shirt wet, I'll give him my shirt. I don't care. He can have it. Um, I just, I, I just love being a part of the team. Of course, I was never in a team at school or varsity. I'm quite a sensitive guy, but I still love my rugby. Thanks so much to Blades and Chargats for making me their first generally valued member. Now, Nick, uh, it's no secret that I enjoy a bit of a party now and again, in fact, quite a lot. <laughs> After a big game, when, um, when all's said and done, where do you like to go and stretch your legs? Uncle, you, uh, if I could get into to Tiger Tiger, I would go. But as you know, it's over 21. So uh, I normally like to go to the shack, better known as Tin Roof, or, uh, or to Wada, where I like to uh, get Do you Do you enjoy Tin Roof, though? Because Tin Roof is extremely messy. It's, it's a bad drunk. Tin Roof uh, is, is no good news uh, to young people, but uh, I enjoy it now every now and then. Now, what's it been like going through life four times the size of everybody else? It's been, uh, it's been quite difficult, Uncle Yu. Uh, you know... My friends often used to tease me that uh, because my two parents are midgets in their own way, uh, my friends used to ah. tease me that, uh, that you know, did the postman come knocking on the door, you know? And uh, also, with my dad being a, a racehorse breeder, uh, often people asked me if uh, my dad put me on some horse steroids. And, and uh, did, you know, he, did he force you to take stuff that you didn't want to take? He didn't, know. Because this, this is, is a, a platform for you to talk about that, I'm of course. A, I'm a purebred, uh, You're a Bonnie thoroughbred, Val, yes. Bonnieville farm boy, uh, and that's about it. And what goes happens on the farm stays on the farm. Stays right on ah, the farm. Ah. <laughs> well, Nick, to keep in such pristine condition, it must be absolutely vital that you pay tip-top attention to your body like I am right now. Now, explain to us what a day is like in your life, an average day of Nick Costa. Well, I wake up at about 7.30 in the morning. I eat my jungle oats. Uh, 7.30, I've had my first whiskey by then, boy. Yeah, I have a late, I have a late morn, uh, morning wake-up call. But uh, then I have, uh, I have my first protein shake when you have your first whiskey. And uh, I head off to training, have a quick gym session, then have a video session. What are you benching now? I'm benching about 130 kilograms, I think. For how many reps, you cheat? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I bench 130. You probably do it for half a rep. How many reps? Uh, about 15 reps. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Carry on. I then, uh, I then have a video session, training, lunch, training, video session. Is it a Joost? Is it a Joost van der Vestes in video session? No, Or no, is it no, a, just no. a proper Nick Costa video session? No, it's just a team video session in which we analyze the opposition. And uh, I then... Because I've heard your girlfriend also has a video session where she analyzes the opposition. <laughs> no, no, none of that. None of that. Well, Nick, if Man of the Match went solely on looks, you'd win it every time. But all the best for this weekend. One 64-year-old commentator will certainly be rooting for you. Thanks, Uncle Yu. It was great to have you uh, to come over to visit. We've got whiskey on the table, bury in the fridge. Let's go and enjoy it. Let's go and enjoy it. Bring your whiskey. Come on. What a magnificent evening. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Hey, Slavon. Hi, Bye, Yeah. Call me. <laughs> Call me you. Johnny Khaber. Carl GPC, massive talent. Well, it's, it's always an absolute pleasure to be able to get into the house of a big rugby star. And if the camera is shaking, well, that's because our cameraman hasn't quite recovered from catching a glimpse of Nick Costa's giant... Log, log. Time for the log. It's week four of the Dogs. Super 14, and I've just got our cause a sneaky feeling that the cheetahs right at the bottom receiving it from every, every end. Let's have a look. Well, happy to say the Bulls sitting neatly at the top of the table, carefully followed by those darn criminals from down under the Tars in second place, and then the Sharks, banana boys from KZN, sitting on 17 points in third place. It's a cat fight down and 13th and 14th spot. The Cheetahs, though, playing out of their boots. They're on two points. Can't see them moving any higher. The Storm is my pick this week. 
purely because Nick Cust is an absolute man, babe. I'm going for a 25-15 win for the Stormers at Newlands on Saturday. Go, you good things. Get that bonus point. One generally valued member up. Whiskey out, though. So we back to you in the studios in Randburg.